Welcome to 2 Minutes Microbio. This installment will talk about Neisseria gonorrhoeae. This is a causal organism for gonorrhea which is a sexually transmitted disease. It's a global health concern and the cases are rising day by day, especially in Africa and India. So in gonorrhea can be transmitted through unprotected sex, multiple partners, blood transfusion and from mother to the baby. It's a free living bacteria and basically it's a gram negative bacteria. Under gram negative bacteria there are cocci and there is bacilli. So it's basically a cocci. The in gonorrhea has pili which facilitate adhesion to epithelial cells of the urethra, cervix, rectum or in conjunctivita. So that makes it more deadly and more infectious. So this pili also enable the bacterium to resist phagocytosis. It can modify immune response by preventing complement system and Th1, Th2 subtype of T cells to act on them. Anyway, it resists phagocytosis, it can secrete immune suppressive molecule and it can actually survive the harsh oxidative burst inside the neutrophils or phagocytes. Engonry can lead to abdominal pain, painful urination and discharge from the vagina or penis. When it comes to diagnosis, obviously there are clinical symptoms, but in terms of pathology, one can look at the bacterial presence using the gram staining. So obviously it would be a gram negative bacteria, but it's not really efficient. So urine from the urine, if one do a PCR test for the uh, presence of N gonorrhea, this would be more sensitive, quick, but a little bit more expensive. It can be isolated using the Thayer Martin media. And when it comes to treatment, there is an antibiotic option which is known as cefetriaxone and this is a intracellular, uh, intramuscular injection of this cephalosporin and this is recommended by CDC. 500 mg intramuscular cefetriaxone is recommended globally. But there are increased evidence that it is showing antibiotic resistance and different ethnicity, different geographical area has different kind of responses towards this antibiotic. Watch the full video to know more.